Ladies and gentlemen, do you know Daniel Clements? Seen him before? What does ACTEW ATL stand for? Makes a lot of sense. Um, ACC, as in Australian Capital Territory, Energy and Water, and then Australian Gas Lighting. Okay, great. So, Please welcome. Thank you. Thank you for the introduction. Uh, as John said, my name is Daniel Clements. I'm representing ActuAGL, the open and universal electric vehicle charging network operator in the nation's capital. That's Canberra, for those who don't know. <laughs> uh, our EV charging network provides universal charging support for all electric vehicles and plug-in hybrids on the Australian market. Our mix of level two and level three chargers provide charging for all vehicles by utilizing multiple connection types. Uh, we will continue ca to cater for the future of electric vehicles and ensure our network is compatible with new models released. As new charging standards are introduced to Australia, our network will adjust to accommodate these. With 11 public chargers across the state, we provide an easy to use network via RFID activation. An integrated online portal developed in-house manages customer accounts, billing and displays real-time charger availability. Our customer base consists of both local and interstate members, with our numbers continuing to grow. We manage both public and private networks, with remote monitoring and operation of the chargers. The private networks are managed parallel to the public network, utilising a shared back-end management system. This provides the same functionality for both network segments, with sufficient segregation for reporting and maintenance purposes. The public network consists of level two and level three chargers, catering for both local EV drivers and interstate tourists. Those that want a rapid recharge can use one of our three 50 kilowatt charging stations provided by our friends at Tridium. And for destination charging, we provide eight level two chargers produced out of Germany by EV Smart Technologies. We are the sole Australian distributor of EV Smart Technologies products, offering flexible, robust charging configurations which easily integrate into new or existing street steps. EV are on the forefront of the latest protocol developments, enabling us as an operator to implement new energy management functionality as it is released. Our network utilises the Open Charge Point protocol to enable interoperability of hardware and software. This allows for multiple EV charging models to be deployed in our network facilitating expansion and ultimately keeping the cost down to provide the best service to our customers. We are currently transitioning to version 1.6 uh, to version 1.6 as the hardware becomes compliant and will continue the upgrade process to version 2.0. These upgrades provide added functionality to the charging network, catering for smart charging, providing increased visibility over the charging network as an operator and increasing accessibility for customers. Our OCPP management software provides remote operation and monitoring of the public network, parallel to the private networks we manage. Charger error remediation is made easy with the automated alerts for quick response, reducing downtime for charging infrastructure and maximising availability for our customers. Our entry into the EV charging space as an operator began with a 12-month pilot program in 2016. During these 12 months, we established a charging network across Canberra, began to grow our customer base and developed our EV charging network knowledge to what it is today. Dealing with challenges as they arose from the rollout of this new technology prepared us for the efficient, informed management of the current network. After 12 months of free charging, sorry, Mrs. and Mr. West. <laughs> um, <laughs> After, yeah, after 12 months of free charging, we were able to implement a pricing schedule, which was well received by members. The acceptance by members of the pricing schedule was invaluable and attributed to the level of customer engagement during the decision process. As a network operator, it is important we engage with our customers to determine how we can best provide this service. As the pricing schedule is based on time connected rather than energy consumption, a charging inequity exists across different electric vehicle models. Given the nature of the technology, the rate of charge accepted by a vehicle when charging above 90% capacity is reduced compared to when it is near empty. Thus, for EVs with comparatively smaller batteries, it takes a longer amount of time to achieve the same range from charging to that of a larger battery EV. This inequity results in Nissan Leafs paying more for the same amount of range to that of a Tesla, which is no good. For this reason, we will soon be implementing a new pricing schedule based on energy consumption. During the pilot, we were surprised by the lack of reception for free charging infrastructure, like the West mentioned earlier. 
It was evident that, a, evident that an education piece was required to inform stakeholders of the benefits of electric vehicles and the benefits of hosting charging infrastructure. We re-evaluated our approach to potential site hosts to reflect this and experience immediate results. This enabled the rollout of 11 charges in the nation's capital to make the network what it is today. There were many technical challenges faced and lessons learned during the rollout of the network. These related to the importance of a secure and reliable communications canopy, the level of OCPP compliance for different charger models and the uniqueness associated with the commissioning requirements of different charging hardware. Parking bays are marked with electric vehicle signage, providing a level of deterrent to combustion engine vehicles, but without physical barriers, barriers icing is unavoidable. <laughs> Integration with parking sensors enables the charger to be displayed as occupied on our website, informing customers of its availability. Opportunities for integration exist with the establishment of smart cities infrastructure, as well as with new and existing street furniture. EV charging is becoming an integrated service offer offering, complementing other smart infrastructure rather than being a standalone petrol station-like offering. By integrating EV charging into smart street lights, street furniture and to complement public transport hubs, the benefits of electric vehicles can be fully realised. Um, this lowers installation costs and encourages a propagation of charging infrastructure throughout a city. With many charging locations, aside from increasing the adoption of electric vehicles, charging becomes more convenient and drivers will be plugged into infrastructure more often than not. This provides an opportunity to take advantage of bi-directional charging and access to aggregated energy storage of each vehicle. Energy exported from the vehicle to the grid provides electricity reliability to the community in the event of a supply shortage. Bidirectional charging also provides benefits in home, as EV drivers can utilise excess energy stored in their vehicles to supply their household. With an increased prevalence in charging infrastructure and more users plugged in more often, this results in an increased level of data captured from the charging habits, which will better inform network expansion requirements based on predicted charging behaviours of EV drivers, further increasing the utilisation of the network, which can grow with adoption. The establishment of a common communications canopy such as a mesh radio network for smart infrastructure to utilise reduces costs and enables connectivity for a range of devices. This eliminates the requirement for each device needing its own method of transmitting and receiving data. In a smart city scenario, this encompasses EV charging infrastructure, smart street lights, CCTV data, parking sensors and utility meters. It is worth thinking about the bigger picture when establishing any of these infrastructures and considering the potential benefits of a holistic, integrated solution for the community. As I previously mentioned, with each upgrade of the Open Charge Point protocol, it provides additional functionality. We will be implementing these to their full potential to facilitate smart charging, online charger reservations and the development of a customer-facing smartphone application with a goal to move towards plug-in charge capability where drivers of electric vehicles simply have to plug in and into a charging station and the transaction is initiated and built accordingly, as I've mentioned before. Uh, the current pricing schedule for our network is based on time. Rather than energy consumption for charger usage, uh, given the release of the Electricity Network Service Provider Exemption Guidelines for the AER, Australian Energy Regulator, we will be moving to begin billing based on energy usage to provide a more accurate representation of usage for our customers. We will pursue opportunities for smart city integrations to, pro to prove potential benefits for the community of an integrated holistic solution. Open protocols facilitate the future linking of our public charging network with multiple third party charging networks via a roaming agreement with network operators. This reduces membership requirements of EV drivers and enables them to charge using any network with a single membership. This roaming solution fosters the establishment of new charging networks across the country, providing an easy user experience to EV drivers and ultimately encourages EV adoption. We are progressing the expansion of the ACT electric vehicle charging network interstate to provide charging infrastructure along popular touring routes and provide a better service to our customers. Existing energy capacity and electricity network connection requirements of each location will be carefully assessed to allow for future high capacity charging infrastructure to cater for future charging requirements of the next generation of vehicles. We're in the space to encourage uptake of electric vehicles in Australia as a sustainable transport alternative.
<laughs> Reminds me of my love life. Um, are they your sunglasses or someone's sunglasses? Yeah, mine. Oh, good, good. Would you like some chocolates too? Sure. Excellent. Have you got a friend? I'll give you two.